hey guys what is up and welcome back to my channel in today's video i decided to come with a actual i want to say a little trick slash secret that i've always had before when i used to color my hair at home and box dyed and stuff i used to always do this trick because a girl was broke bitch i was broke in high school i had like a little part-time job but i wasn't making like hella money of the week and shit i did what i could to pay my little itty bitty bills back in high school but i also was able to use the little amount of money that i had to actually give myself salon results at home if i knew that i could save the money and go home and do it myself i mean then why not so i had always known about this trick for the longest because i used to always use this i actually go ahead and i color my hair i tone it and i actually cut it but guys you won't be able to see footage of me cutting the hair i just could not film myself getting the actual footage of me cutting my hair but i actually film on my iphone on the littlest tripod ever i swear to you guys no amount of books stacked on top of each other on the sink could have possibly given me the right angle to shoot me actually cutting my hair but i did follow a tutorial on how i cut my hair and actually did cut it in layers i don't know if you can tell but i did cut it in layers and i did kind of pick a little bit at my bangs just to shorten them a little bit because i saw that they were growing out a little bit i will link that down in the description bar so you guys can see what video i followed and i promise you guys i followed it to the t i didn't skip any steps i didn't do my own little thing to the t and it gave me these beautiful long layers which is what i love for my hair ever since i cut my bangs in my hair i kind of felt like my hair needed layers anyways i felt like my hair looked so plain with just this little fringe and just straight hair but i love the layered look i feel like it gives me such cute body and bounce to my hair and i don't know why maybe it's just me but i feel like hair gives you some kind of personality i feel like your hair really is like the first impression of what people see so guys before we get started into the video i just wanted to show you guys a couple of the items that i used i totaled it out and you should waste no more than 20 dollars i promise you you can get this look at home and i'm going to show you guys everything that i use so you guys can do the same thing at home obviously with everything that's going on i know everybody is dying to get their nails done their eyebrows done but if anything can suffice and you can get your hair done i mean why not so I'm gonna put you guys on to what I use. The first thing that I use, and I picked this up in CVS, but I couldn't find it on CVS's website. This is the Revlon Frost and Glow, and this is the highlighting box. And this is in the color Honey. This is literally the best thing that I've ever came across from. This is literally all you're gonna need to actually, ooh! This literally is a highlighting kit. This is really meant to kind of put the cap over and pick out the pieces and only color those hairs. I obviously did not do that, but I went ahead and I put all of this all over my hair on top of what was already bleached. If you look at the actual retail website of Walgreens, I was able to find this for $11.49, guys. That is literally a steal compared to what you would pay in the salon. After you actually bleach the hair and do everything to that and wash it out, you need to tone your hair. Please don't go out and bleach your hair if you're not gonna tone your hair, guys. Like, please. One toner that I've always used, it's probably the most recommended toner you can probably buy in any beauty store, and it is the Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Toner. It looks just like this. Let me see if I can get that there. There you go. And I got the shade T28. I've used this before in T14, T15. It tells you right here this is a one to two mix ratio. And of course, I mix that with bam 20 developer i know there's 30 and 40 but i just feel like those are a little too harsh on the hair my recommendation if you are gonna do something a little higher on the hair more than 20 if you are gonna go for 30 and 40 i recommend to please 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 check on your hair every five minutes no more no less and just to really make sure that your hair is coloring at a rate where it's not getting too damaged but to be on the safe side and to make sure that you don't overburn your hair i would just go with 20 and i have the receipt from navarro somewhere oh on the floor i bought a charger as well i don't know if you can read that but here um the color correcting toner in t28 i paid 4.49 for it and the um 
L'Oreal Cream 20 volume, I paid $2.99 for it. Once you add $11.49 plus $4.49 plus $2.99, it comes up to a grand total of $19.47. That is literally a freaking steal. Okay guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and go right into the tutorial. If you've already gotten this far into the video, please go ahead and like, comment, and hit that subscribe button to my channel. I am always gonna be posting everyday tips, everyday tricks that I do for myself just so I can help you guys. So if that's what you want, you are more than welcome to subscribe to this channel and always be notified of when I post a video every single week. So let's go ahead and get right into the video and see how I went from brunette to practically a blonde again. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. You're gonna get first this highlight powder. This is what you're gonna mix with the actual um, liquid that we're gonna get here. You're also gonna get the cream developer. These two together is what's actually gonna help us with the actual lightening process to the hair. So you get these two. You're also gonna get this little tray right here. And it's gonna come with an instructions manual. It's gonna come with the highlight cap. Also provides as well these two tools. This one tool is for mixing in the tray. In this next tool, that is for the actual lightning cap here. And it also comes with the frost and glow shampoo and revitalize it. You'll obviously use this right after once the coloring process is done. You'd go in the shower and actually use these. Um, I'm scared that I don't have enough products. Like, I don't know if this is enough just for my hair because I have very thick, I have a lot of hair. So I just hope that this is enough. I suggest that when you start your actual hair dyeing process, try to portion out every piece of hair little by little i'd probably go back and put the rest that i have left over on those strands that maybe could use a little more hair dye it is something that i do that if i do have enough left over i'll just go back if i don't it is what it is mind you i'm not gonna be too perfect with this either i'm gonna grab the little clear box that this came with i'm gonna go ahead and pour the highlighting powder into the box so i'm gonna actually i'm gonna go ahead and pour the cream developer into the actual box with the same highlighting powder in it and you can do this however you want. You know, I'm just gonna pour it little by little and I'm going to um, mix it. And then as I get closer to mixing it better, I'll pour more product in it. It's just this, like it's so powdery guys. So just be mindful, hold your breath if you have to, because this is a very, this is just so, it's all over the place and it can get very messy. I have in the past spontaneously have dyed my hair, like especially in high school. I'm a veteran at literally just being spontaneous to just go home and just be like, F it, I'm gonna go and bleach my hair today, cause why not? I'm just gonna go out on a limb and do it. Okay guys, so as you keep mixing it, it literally becomes this kind of thick, but it's very creamy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just mix it up just a little bit more because you want to make sure that this um, mix is free of any like chunks of bleach or powder or anything of that. So that right there, um, it might be enough, it might not be. But my hair is short now this time. I'm gonna brush through here. I know some people prefer to use like one of those brushes to evenly paint on the bleach onto your hair. I'm not gonna use that only because I can't find it because if I had it, I would obviously use it. But I have used my hands too to dye my hair and there's no difference. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. At least for me with my techniques, which you do wanna do, at least what I do, I see where my hair is bleached at and you're actually gonna put the bleach on the bleach part too. But to also make sure that you um, blend those pieces out, I'm actually gonna tease those pieces up there. If you really want that blended look from the roots to the actual bleach part, you're gonna wanna actually tease your hair and what that's gonna do is that that's gonna pull the hair back up, but once that color's on there and it processes onto the hair, it's gonna create this beautiful blend from your root to your actual colored hair. There's people who, um, they dye their hair and they dye it like that instead of trying to evenly disperse it onto the roots so it looks like a blended natural, like, into the roots kind of look. Remember guys, we're trying to fake a salon balayage at home for $20, okay? So we need to look like we went to the salon. We can't be out here showing people that, yeah, we did our hair, it doesn't look salon. Like, you need to make people think you went to the salon. That's the whole point. So like I said, I'm actually going to I might just apply this in chunks, to be honest. I'm gonna divide this in two because it is a lot of hair. But something like this for me is is like enough. So I'm going to, like I said, tease that hair. 
And then I'm gonna grab some of this bleach in my hand with the glove that I have on. I'm gonna grab this much and I'm gonna legit just with both my hands slide that onto my hair. And then what you can do with your two fingers, you kind of want to clamp on that strand. And what you want to do is you want to like do that. You want to squeeze some of the product up into the root. My hair stylist, I've seen her do that all the time with my hair. And she'll just blend up the color. She'll legit clamp like this. And she'll blend it up into the roots that I just actually teased. And that's what's going to give the blended effect onto the roots. Once I'm done there, I'm legit going to repeat that process all over my hair, guys. Like, that is literally all you're going to do. I know a lot of people say teasing is bad for the hair, which it is. It's not the best for your hair. It can be very damaging, but I don't tease my hair every single day either. But it's your personal preference. If you think that you can blend um, the pieces, like the bottom pieces to the top without having to tease it, then go right ahead. So I'm going to grab that last strand. Oh, careful that you don't get it. Being mindful of how much product and spread. Just make sure you're grabbing everywhere, but if you have to grab a little bit, a little bit more, like I said, be mindful of the product. You guys might see me in the rest of the video not pay mind to the ends a lot. I plan on cutting those ends after I'm done. I think it's time, especially now like, that I'm gonna be stuck at home, I might as well cut the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and let me come back. Okay guys, now I'm back and I did the other side. Um, I don't know if you can see, but these are just as lightly saturated as the other side. I did not reach all the way to my ends, only because, like I said earlier, I plan cutting my hair and I know I'm gonna cut those ends because those look hella dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair. And you're probably wondering if I'm gonna cap my hair after. And the answer is yes. But the reason why I haven't put my hair up in like a little bag is because all that heat trapped in the bag is gonna activate the actual part to start lightening the hair. So to help me save some time and to actually get to the rest of my hair so my hair can actually color out evenly, I'm gonna wait till I get everything and then I'm gonna go ahead and bag it. So let me go ahead and actually finish the rest of my hair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back and I'm sorry if this looks super crazy, but I did go ahead and use the entire tub of bleach, if you can see. So um, you can use whatever you have at home. You can use a shower cap. I'm just gonna use a good old bag. So I'm just going to literally push them back. You can grab um, a hair tie if you want. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to just super gently grab that. And I'm actually not gonna tie it because I don't want the actual um, hair tie to um, bend my hair and kind of mess up the color. So I'm legit just going to grab this and like that once. I'm not gonna twist it twice or nothing. I'm just gonna put it once. I know it looks super messy, but just once. And I'm just gonna grab this CVS bag and I'm gonna legit put that like that. I look like this, whatever. Because this is bleach, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe do like 20 to 25 minutes. I know that might be pushing it for some people, but for me, because I'm gonna check the strands every five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna make sure my hair's not over bleach because then I'll just know when to wash it off. So if you want to speed up the process, I suggest getting a blow dryer and just blowing air on it for a little bit for five minutes if you need and what that's going to do is that heat is going to activate this actual color and it's going to help with the lightening process i already have bleached hair so i'm just putting bleach on top of what is my bleached hair and that should lighten it fast enough so like i said i'm going to go ahead and come back when i actually have this washed out i'm going to show you guys how it looks before i put on the toner now we're back and it's completely washed out it's a little damp but i did go over with the blow dryer on the cool setting just to kind of dry out a little bit i didn't want it to be too dry either so it's a little damp right now so now we're gonna go ahead and put on the actual toner to the hair i'm gonna go ahead and mix these together in just a little panita the one to two mix ratio so what that means is for every one bottle of Bella toner, you're gonna mix two bottles worth of what would be developer. 
you're gonna actually get the little pan you're just gonna drop this in there it's literally like this liquid so there it is just be super careful because it's super liquidy now i'm not gonna lie i low-key just want to eye it and just wing it and f it because i mean i don't really have a, a measuring tool i thought i did but i mean nothing bad is gonna happen if you eye it i'm gonna put it like that and i'm just gonna there you go i'm gonna grab the actual whisk that i used earlier to mix the bleach and i'm just going to mix those up over here okay so i'm done mixing that i don't know if you guys can see that but it really just is like a very thick consistency the same way i did with the hair dye i'm gonna do the same thing to my hair i'm not gonna apply this perfectly i'm gonna go ahead and part the hair the same way from my eyes like that and i'm just gonna tie this piece up okay so i'm gonna go ahead you can grab with the actual whisk here however you want but i'm just going to just coat the hair and then i'm gonna work with it the same way how i was doing the first time i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair and i will be right back all right so this is me already with the entire toner all over my hair i use literally every single bit as far as the actual toner i'm not gonna leave this on for any more than like 10 or 15 minutes and then i'm gonna wash it out i'll be back to show you guys how this came out with the toner already washed out okay guys so as you pretty much got to see literally that footage was horrible there was no way i was gonna be able to even show you guys how i got my hair cut without having to lean everywhere and get everywhere so i was not gonna post that if you actually saw how this looked it looks so bomb like look at that look at that mm. if you can learn how to do everything at home guys you guys would not break bank y'all would have more money in your accounts i'm telling you anyway guys thank you so much for coming to my video i hope this helped every single one of you guys achieve this blonde honey look that i've been going for i think it is so cute and i love when my hair just looks so refreshed and so vibrant and just so nice like it looks like i just freshly came out of the salon and i've been at home for like the past couple weeks like going crazy i've just been trying to find stuff to get me literally out of boredom like i said before like comment and subscribe to this channel guys you guys will not regret it i got you guys with tips tricks everything in the book to keep you guys on point and fresh every single time you come visit my channel okay guys i think enough is enough and i've been rambling on for too much so like i said stay home be safe guys and like i said i will see you guys in the next video guys bye guys